everybody, welcome back to another episode of something new. Welcome to Elder Scrolls Blades, a game that is going to be coming out later this year with, as you guys are seeing, stunning graphics that I actually got my chance to go ahead and play a little bit at the Fallout 76 event that I was invited to over last week. Speaking of which, Fallout 76 videos coming your way very, very soon. Make sure you guys are subscribed and stay in tune for that. And huge shout out, by the way, to Bethesda for flying me out to that wonderful event because it was a ton of fun and I can't wait to share my experiences with y'all. Beginning with this, where I did get some hands on with Elder Scrolls Blades. As you can see, I was kind of struggling to figure out the controls a little bit, but this is actually a game that I'm looking forward to a whole ton that we are going to be covering on the channel later this year. It's going to be a free mobile game coming out. They're also going to try to have this game come out to consoles, VR, PCs. They want this to hit absolutely everything, but at its core, what it is going to be, and as you guys are seeing here with the gameplay, is a game where you go through, you battle, you loot, and actually a little bit later, well, I didn't actually have an opportunity to check it out in the middle of my game. There's also loot. There's tower building there's different game modes there's a whole ton of epicness like that the graphics as you guys are seeing absolutely gorgeous you guys can see over at the bottom there are three different bars over at the bottom left there's even a couple of different actions we could do i actually use a little bit of a fire spell here in a sec but you guys can see that i'm doing my combo i was struggling to figure out the controls a little bit but at its core what it is is you actually have to hold until that little circle goes from red to a uh, golden i realize this kind of afterwards and then what you can do is you kind of like swipe the direction and it will actually control like you could do like a stab with your sword if you just like do the tap and like let go or like if you swipe you'll kind of like swipe your sword in that direction you can do combos and on top of it you can even work towards building a town throughout the entirety of it my buddy todd howard's gonna be going over that in detail a little bit later in the video but as you guys are seeing we are having more combat and this isn't just a game you have to play in portrait mode either this is a game you can play in a landscape mode is that what it's called whatever it is like you don't have to hold your phone sideways is what i'm trying to say you can actually hold it upright i didn't actually do too great of a job showcasing that but you should be able to see that a little bit later in the video as well and what you can do is actually tap around and continue battling without having to turn your phone sideways which is actually i don't know man it's really neat and here you guys are going to be seeing the inventory system the loot that gets incorporated into all of it and you might be like oh stop but the combat doesn't look the smoothest okay dude to be fair that combat was me being a total derp all right it was like my only run at it but i still dude, i still had a ton of fun with it i did begin figuring out more and more as of what i imagine once we do get some more time with it it's gonna be dope just like this this is the freaking landscape slash portrait mode option that i was talking about the inventory screens the menus are optimized for not just sideways playing you can do it in both ways which is just i don't know it's so awesome to have a game with that versatility and it just kind of like gives you this whole kind of like more like long perspective whereas like you have the wide one if you play the other way it's just kind of like interesting that you'll be able to play in so many different fashions and check out all of these gorgeous areas that you guys should be seeing right around here. But let's just go ahead and let Todd Howard take over as he talks about my favorite part that I'm crazy excited for, which is going to be the different game modes and building up our very own town. The Abyss, a roguelike experience where you can see how far you can go in an endless dungeon. And the Arena, where you will do battle one-on-one -on -one against other players. And the main mode, the town. This is the hub for your story and quests. You are a member of the Blades, the Empire's top agents. Forced into exile, you return home to find your town destroyed and need to rebuild it. Yes, Blades also features a town building mode. You'll decide what your town looks like and be able to upgrade and decorate all of the individual elements in it. As your town levels up, you'll unlock new NPCs, quests, and more. You can even visit your friends' towns. And there you guys have hopefully a good chunk of information regarding the game and hopefully can see why this is something I'm excited for, especially as a huge Elder Scrolls fan. I'm a huge fan of honestly a lot of Bethesda stuff between Fallout and Elder Scrolls, which is why this event was so freaking dope to go to. Again, huge shouts out to Bethesda for that, but that's why I'm really excited for this game as well, and hopefully you guys are too, because it's definitely going to be going on the channel, and hopefully we're going to be able to do some absolutely nutty stuff, build our town to the tippity top, find the best loot that there is, catch 
cast the greatest spells and conquer everything that there has to offer as we continue unfolding the story and seeing why our town was ruined and what we can accomplish with a fully functioning one. So all very dope stuff that I'm looking forward to. And hopefully you guys are as well. But go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Elder Scrolls Blades. If you guys are excited for it, what you're most excited for out of any of that jazz or maybe what you're worried about. I want to start a discussion around the game because it's just so unique to have a game like this on mobile and it, it dude I don't know, man. It might just be the Elder Scrolls fanboy in me coming out. But uh, make sure you guys are subscribed because this will definitely be on the channel when it comes. Because this is looking like one of the most triple A mobile games I have ever seen. And it's also from one of my favorite developers ever. It set, it takes place in Elder Scrolls. It's just the perfect storm, dude. Just like Fallout 76, a Fallout game that's survival. Now an Elder Scrolls game with town building that you can adventure through on mobile? Dude, something about Bethesda, I think they just, they, they could read my mind or something because uh, they're just doing things that I'm a straight up love. But with that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have so it's an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.